The early Bronze Age village of Afragola on the Campania plain of southern Italy was buried under nearly a meter of volcanic ash deposited by the Avellino eruption of Vesuvius ca. 4,000 years ago. The remarkable preservation of the village of Afragola is unmatched in Europe. It was located near modern Naples, about 10 miles from Mount Vesuvius. Archaeologists excavated an area of over 5,000 square meters of village, making it one of the most extensively investigated sites of the early Bronze Age in Italy. Researchers were curious to see if they could determine the time of year the eruption occurred due to the level of preservation and variety of plants preserved at the site. In a study published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, reports, the researchers explained how the eruption took place in different phases, beginning with a dramatic explosion that primarily transported debris to the northeast. Yukon Department of Anthropology researcher Tiziana Matarazzo said, the site is exceptional because Afregola was buried by a giant eruption of Vesuvius, and this tells us a lot about the people who lived there and the local habitat. In this case, by finding fruit and agricultural materials, we were able to determine the eruption season, which is not usually possible. The last phase brought mainly ash and water, this is the so-called phreatomagmatic phase, which was scattered mainly to the west and northwest, about 25 kilometers from the volcano. The village was buried in a thick layer of volcanic material during this phase, which replaced the molecules of plant macro remains and produced flawless casts in cinerite, also known as ash tuff, a material that doesn't degrade for thousands of years. Leaves that were in the woods nearby were also covered by mud and ash which was not super hot, so we have beautiful imprints of the leaves in the cinerite. The village offers a rare glimpse at how people lived in Italy in the early Bronze Age, the researchers say. In Campania at this time, we have huts, but in Greece, they had palaces, Matarazzo says. These people probably lived in groups, with maybe one or more persons was the head of the group. There was also one storage building in the village where all the grains and various agricultural goods and fruits were gathered from nearby woods to be stored and likely shared with the whole community. Fortunately for this study, unlike the other huts in the village, the plant food warehouse caught fire probably due to the arrival of pyroclastic materials. Its collapse made indirect carbonization of the stored vegetal materials possible. Matarazzo says the Bronze Age Campanian Plain was home to a rich diversity of food sources, including a variety of grains and barley, hazelnuts, acorns, wild apples, dogwood, pomegranates, and cornelian cherry, all extraordinarily well preserved in the aftermath of the volcanic eruption. This eruption was so extraordinary that it changed the climate for many years afterward. The column of the Plinian eruption rose to basically the flight altitude of airplanes. It was unbelievable. The cover of ash was so deep that it left the site untouched for 4,000 years. Now we get to learn about the people who lived there and tell their stories. The evidence gathered so far points toward the eruption happening in autumn, when villagers gathered foods to see them through the winter.